Hey what's going on guys, Cousin here. So today I'm going to show you how to download mods on your Minecraft Realm. As you can see, I'm on the Realm. Um, so this can either be um, on a Realm that you've already played on and you have a world and you know, you've done a little bit. Or it can be a brand new world that you want to start over with your friends. So let's go over the steps real quick. Okay, so these will be the steps on how to download mods into Minecraft Realms uh, Java Edition. So first you want to save a backup of your Realms single player world. Uh, I'll show you guys all these in just a second. Then you want to download Forge, uh, download any mods that you want. Um, and then open Minecraft Forge, open the mods folder, drag and drop mods from downloads to mods folder. Test how mods work in the single player world, upload single player world back to Realms. So let's show you guys how to save a backup uh, of the realm to your single player world. Okay, so back in Minecraft, um, I am on a different account now. I'm on the account that owns the realm. Uh, what you want to do is click on the realm that, um, that you play on and make sure you are the owner of the realm because this is the only way to do it. And you want to press configure and you can see I've already done it for myself but world one was um, the no mods and world two is with mods so once you're on the screen you want to go to world backup and you can see uh, this backup was done 30 seconds ago uh, so you can choose which backup you want there should be more if you've played recently but you just want to press download latest and the world will be downloaded and added to your single player worlds and you want to press yes and it says preparing download and this will take a few minutes uh, depending on your upload speed or download speed, sorry. Uh, usually for me, download takes a little less time than upload, but once that's done, uh, we are going to download um, uh, Forge. But we do before we download Forge, uh, once it's uploaded, you want to go back and you want to go check that it's backed up into your single player world. So as you can see, uh, I have two because I wanted to test this one out, see if it worked. And you should do the same. Uh, log on to server and see if it's backed up correctly. Okay, so now that we're on the server, you can see I'm on a different account. But uh, what you do want to make sure is uh, clear everything out of your inventory before you make the backup. Uh, make everyone do that so they don't lose their items in the inventory. Uh, but as you can see, it's everything's here um, and the backup went smoothly. Now let's go download Forge. All right, so first link in the description should take you to uh, minecraftforge.net where you can download um, the uh, Forge for Minecraft. And on the left, you can see the different versions. Uh, if you're checking from a year from now, uh, click whatever is the most recent update, or if you wanna play on a different version for some reason that some mods work on, you can also downgrade. But since we're on 1.20.4, let's go ahead and do that. Press installer. And here you don't want to click anything, not for the first five seconds. If you click this, it's going to download a virus and you don't want that on your computer. Uh, once the skip button appears in the top right corner, you want to press that. And we can see it's Forge uh, 1.20.4. We just want to save that. And it is saved. So let's go to our downloads folder. And do you want to drag that on your desktop? And it should start downloading, or sorry, it should start, uh, you know, go on your desktop. What you want to do is right click and press open, or you can double left click and you want to do install client and press OK. And then this will download pretty slowly if you're doing it for the first time. But since I already downloaded it, it shouldn't take too long. Uh, but let's wait for this to download. So once this is done, you want to press OK and you want to load up your Minecraft launcher. All right, so once this opens up, uh, you want to, instead of playing on the vanilla version, you want to click on latest version, uh, which is whatever you're playing on. And you want to press on Forge. And as you can see, Forge. Hey, now I'm going to teach you guys how to download mods from CurseForge. This will be the second link in the description. Uh, something happened to my recording, so I have to remake this part real quick. 
but once you go to this uh, link, it will take you to CurseForge where you can browse, browse Minecraft and you'll be taken to this page. And here are all the mods you can choose from. Uh, but we want to go to category and then press the mods. And this should take you to the mods page. Uh, I think it goes down from relevancy, okay. We can also do popularity, but JEI and mouse tweaks, I think will always be like the most downloaded. You can see 276 million downloads for JEI and 205 for mouse tweaks. Uh, since JEI hasn't been updated to the current version that I am playing on, which is 1.20.4, let's download mouse tweaks. Cancel, go back a page. Uh, you wanna go to mouse tweaks. You want to go to files and you want to look for uh, the game version which should match yours which is for mine it is 1.20.4 and the mod loader make sure it's for forge because that's the one we have downloaded there's also fabric and neo forge but i'm not sure if mouse tweaks is on neo forge it might be these two um so let's go ahead and press the one that matches ours which is 1.20.4 and forge and then you want to press download now and then in five seconds it should download and you guys should see uh you can save it on your downloads folder which is what i will do it'll be mouse tweaks forge 1.20.2 uh there's a one next to mine because i already have it downloaded but let's go ahead and download that there we go now that is saved and let's go back to minecraft okay uh so once we are in the Minecraft uh, launcher in Forge, you should see the Forge version, Forge beta, like you already saw before. You wanna click on mods and you wanna press open mods folder. Once you open this, the folder will open and you want to drag and drop uh, the mod that you just downloaded. As you can see, I have a couple downloaded, but uh, let's show you guys that. Okay, so now that the mod folder is open, um, you can see I have a bunch of mods downloaded. So what you want to do is take this to the side and open your uh, downloads page. When you have the downloads page open, you should see mouse tweaks at the top uh, and you want to drag and drop that into the mods folder. Since I already have it, uh, I won't do it. Uh, but then once you do, you want to close out of these two and go back into Minecraft and restart your game. Okay, so now that we're back in Minecraft, you want to go to the mods folder, make sure you find whatever you downloaded. And for me, it was mouse tweaks. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, right here. Okay, so mouse tweaks is downloaded and you want to press done. Now to test out that the mods actually work, go into uh, the backups that you made. Uh, this is the older backup I made, but it should also uh, still everything should be the same. Uh, so once we're loaded in, I'll show you guys all the mods that I have downloaded. Okay, so now that we're back in the server, we can see that I have all these mods downloaded, the fence, doors, the blinds. I have those downloaded. I didn't show you guys how to download those, but it should be the same as downloading mouse tweaks. But if we do that, hold shift and um, just drag and you don't have to do this one by one anymore. Like you do in vanilla Minecraft, you can just hold shift and go over it and boom that's how you know it works so now it is the part where we download or upload the server the backup that we made back to the realm so let's go ahead and do that real quick okay so now that we're back on this page you want to go to minecraft realms uh click on the realm itself and press configure and then we have uh, three worlds that we can choose. So mine's this one. Um, you wanna press reset world and you can do a new world, world, world templates, inspirations, experiences, adventures, but we wanna click on the upload, upload world and we wanna press on our backup. So this was the my newest one that I did. Uh, you wanna press upload and then once it's preparing your world, it's gonna start uploading. This may take up to 10, 15 minutes, it took about 10 minutes for me. My upload speed isn't the best, but um, yeah, once you go on the server, everything should be good. So let's go ahead and play, and let's show you guys the mods actually working in the realm. Okay, so now that we are back on the world, um, I am in game mode creative. Uh, let's go ahead and check that the mods work. So let's go to search, 
Uh, I download a bunch of like extra slabs and doors as you can see. There's honeycomb slabs, there's anything you can ask for. And then the other one was windows. Um, window, I guess. Um, and there's all kinds of different windows as you can see here. And then of course the mouse tweaks. Uh, let's add a bunch of stuff here. And we can see the mouse tweaks works. Uh, if you press J, which is the button to open the journey map, you can see journey map works on everything. And yeah, you can add waypoints. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, I will have the link to my Discord in the description where you can check out my Discord. If you have any questions, you can hit me up on Discord and I will be able to help you guys out. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to like and join the Discord if you need help.